why do you think we haven't heard from aliens yet? Because they don't exist. Oh! There's no method of communication as of yet. We're not attractive to them. <laughs> Maybe they're just looking for the right time to come down. They think we're probably not developed enough for them to come out and be like, hey. But like the technology is not there. They need to observe us. Do you believe in aliens then? You know, I've seen a couple of things in my time. So What have you seen? There's so much out there that we haven't seen yet that there just has to be aliens. On Mars they said, oh, there was signs of like water, so mm. there might be signs of life. Maybe there's something hiding in like, that area, 51 yeah, exactly. or whatever. Why do you guys strongly believe they don't exist? Well, it's because not it's strong, not because I do believe there's life <laughs> in other solar systems. I'm perfectly willing to accept that. But that doesn't necessarily mean they would take the form of what people think of as aliens. It might be some small amoeba, but you can't call that an alien. Yes, you can. It's very familiar, it's not alien. <laughs> <laughs> are there aliens? And if there are, why haven't we heard from them yet? Back in the 60s, a physicist created a calculation which basically predicted the existence of millions of civilizations among the stars. But it had some pretty big assumptions, but it did get us thinking, are we just a tiny part of a crazy cosmic zoo out there? But another physicist came along, Enrico Fermi, and he was not buying it. And he basically said, if out there is crawling with alien civilization, where the hell are they? And that's Fermi's paradox. Now there can be many, many answers to why we haven't heard from aliens, but here's just a few. Number one, maybe it's not a paradox at all. And maybe we are just the only ones here. Boring, I know, but sometimes the simplest answers are the most realistic. Number two, maybe they're just ignoring us and they have no interest in interfering with earthly matters. And number three, they're not living long enough. And this is called the Great Filter, where no civilization can coexist with us because of our fleeting existence. And number four, maybe they're already here.